the Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle, after all your efforts on their behalf. I would have stayed, but the punch ran dry. Scandalous. <laughs> Indeed. Let us see if you take this piece of news as poorly. By Imperial Decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. Celine wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Celine knows you face an opponent who wields great magical power, which is far more important than her own curiosity. You will require my knowledge if you are to defeat such magic. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus, thus it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic, yes? Should thought of that frighten you, allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess I place at your disposal to make use of or ignore as you desire. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morgan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. Is everything all right? You look troubled. I'm just worn out. The night has been very long. It was a tumultuous evening, but... Orle is safe now. It was worth the struggle. Is there anything I can do? Um, can I get you anything? A drink, perhaps? Would you care to dance with me, Lady Josephine? I was hoping you'd ask, my lord. 